<laughs> this is awesome, guys. So I'm doing a test using the live link. I'm using my iPhone 12 mini. And uh, today I just want to show you what the quality looks like when it comes to the live link. This is the air kit. I'm not using uh, the MetaHuman animator, uh, which you could. But over here, you can see my iPhone. It's a basic iPhone. And then this air kit desktop. Uh, it automatically connects once you have the IP set up. You must have, you must add an at, you must add a target in your iPhone in the live link app. And it's also been updated. So make sure you do, first update your app. Uh, so to the latest, the most recent one, I'm, I'm sure they will update it as we get closer to Unreal Fest. But uh, man, it looks it, look, it looks really good. I'm really I'm impressed by the quality. And uh, I mean, some of the things that I'm noticing is like when I say ba ba, you see that ba. That's not really working good. But all the other ones like boo ba be bu, ba 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 black sheep. How do you any <laughs> Yeah, it's looking great. So when I'm doing uh, VTubing with uh, my MetaHuman, the raster guy, I'm usually doing this similar setup. So I was trying to test this to see if others like you, if anyone else out there is hoping to do like a VTuber using the, the new MetaHuman creator characters, this is what you should expect in terms of the quality. Now, a disclaimer is that uh, I'm running a super mm, a super duper machine. Uh, this was blessed to me by the team at Puget Systems. Uh, it's um, it has an A6000 ADA, you know, RTX 6000 ADA. So that's 48 gigabytes of RAM. So if you're looking to VTube, uh, just keep in mind that you may have to invest in a really good system, right? Now, let me do a quick test to see like if I am VTubing for real. So I'll be like, some, I'll say something like this. Welcome back, friends. This is Solomon Jagwe. I am back with another quick insight. And I'm excited to share with you the Unreal Engine 5.7 live link test. You see that? And then, so what the way I approach it is that I know you can use a script and you can also link the eyes to the camera. But what I normally do is that I look straight at the camera, like right now. You know how you can't look someone in the eye because you can only look in one eye. But anyway, I just look at the one spot in the camera. It's almost like I'm talking to myself right there. And uh, that helps maintain the focus. Like right now, you know, that, that commercial with the gecko, we just had a moment. You feel it. Hmm? <laughs> but look at the quality of the texture. So right now I've set the set. Uh, let me actually show it. The scalability settings are set to cinematic. By the way, guys, <laughs> think of the interface. <laughs> They've moved some things around, like the camera has been moved to over here, all of these new items. So, but I've been hunting around. I know there's official like documentation for all of this, but anyway, uh, I'm set, I've set the viewport scalability to cinematic, and you can choose if you have a like a, a lower end system, make sure you try out the low, medium, and high. But if you want the meta human to look really good, then you have to do a cinematic to get that right. So anyways, and if I click out of there, I should be back. Yeah. So let me know, guys, what you think. Uh, I'm hoping that this also comes to Unreal Engine 5.6, which is the, the one that is re in re preview release right now. But overall, I'm loving the quality. I'm excited to go back into VTubing using my MetaHuman VTuber and to see that uh, the textures look great. So you can create a convincing character just like you see I am doing right now. Yeah. Again, I wanted to say thank you so much to all my patrons. Thank you for your support, guys. And I know this is the age of AI. So my encouragement to you guys is please don't give up on your dream. Do not give up. No matter what happens, do not give up on your dream. Continue creating. But look up. You know, don't stay in a banker mentality where you're not looking up to see what else is in the horizon. Because you need to be able, you need to be aware of where the technology is headed so you know what tools to harness for your future and also for you to, for telling your story. So I encourage you guys to continue to dream big, to share your, you know, your tests. Uh, I do a lot of tests because I want to see 
what tools I can use to tell my story. And when I find something really cool, I, I do my best to share it with you guys. So this is one of those things. So to my fellow VTubers out there, I think this is a good option. You can create your MetaHuman using the new... Oh, did you see that? So when I go down a little bit, the beard disappears. So I'm going to figure out why that happens. I think it's an LOD issue. It is not to happen in the previous version because you have. I have already set the uh, the D to zero, I believe, and so that shouldn't be happening. But this is a, a better build anyway, so it's gonna get better. Look at the hairdo. So when I, when you, I guess, I guess the, when you are V tubing, like avoid where the mouth is not appearing in the camera, you will not be able to speak properly. So just maintain your face to be visible in the phone so that you can actually see that night. But this is where, this is how it's set up and I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the screen. But yeah, I'm excited guys. <laughs> oh man. So now I'm gonna try to do a custom mesh to see if I can actually do, maybe recreate myself. But I, I have so many cool ideas now that I, I see the quality. I'm gonna do my best to share with you the results of uh, what you see here. So that dream big guys. <laughs> Bye for now, and I'm always, always praying for you. Please stay safe. See you in the next video. MetaHuman out. Oh, by the way, did you see my other video where I did a, a test of uh, no MetaHuman, no cry? <laughs> okay. <laughs> see you guys. Bye for now.